Sam Houston here. We wanted to let you know that at the beginning of this year, 2010, we released a new album called Beyond the Crescent Moon. This is an entirely different kind of music than uh, we've ever done before. And it was all inspired by my wife, Karen, who's a therapeutic body worker. She asked me if I could create a music mosaic that she could play while she was working on her clients. And so, about nine months later almost, Beyond the Crescent Moon was born. Beyond the Crescent Moon is 72 minutes in length. And it's made up of six compositions. The first composition is the title, Beyond the Crescent Moon. And it's my uh, soundscape experience while I was gazing at the crescent moon and then noticing that I was looking beyond the crescent moon. The second composition on the album is called Wicca Magic. And Wicca Magic evolved many, 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 many years ago when I was on a journey um, taking a class. And the class was a class given by Caridwin Falling Star, and the title of the class was A Year and a Day. And in that class, one of the things that became so prominent and so important for me is getting in touch with nature. All of the elements, wind, the fire, the rain, the water, uh, all the elements of earth and experiencing that and then how I was experiencing or cohabitating in the elements and my contribution um, to the effects of the elements. And so out of that year and a day experience evolved Wicca Magic. And it fits perfect in this compilation, this music mosaic. One of the areas of music, I should say, that impacts me the most, which are um, which are harmonies, vocal harmonies, and uh, more specifically Gregorian chant, has always touched uh, touched me very deeply and impacted me very deeply. And so Seasons of Luna is my expression of going through the uh, lunar cycles um, as interpreted through voices. composition on the album is called A Mountain Path Ahead. Well, I describe this through a metaphor. Who is the wiser? The person who climbs a hundred different mountains? Or the person who climbs one mountain a hundred times? Either one, whether it's the person who climbs one mountain or the person who climbs a hundred mountains can really absorb the experience they need either way the the experience that when they are on that journey that they have no regret The fifth composition on the album is called Environmental Symphony. One day, when I was gazing at the redwoods, I took note of this environmental symphony that was surrounding me. The wind rustling the redwood branches. I could hear in the background 
the ocean waves as they were hitting the cliffs. And then there was this rumble, this deep rumble of the horses as they were running across the pasture. And all around me was this ensemble of songbird just performing these magnificent melodies, an environmental symphony. And this is my interpretation. When I was growing up, one of the things that became very important to me was singing. It was something that gave me strength, something that enhanced my spirit, my soul, something that enlivened me and helped me feel connected with life, with people. I, I just loved hearing four-part harmony. And so uh, what I thought I'd do is, is do the best I could to take what I envisioned sonically and try to reproduce that and to really consciously do that without words. Um, that became very important for me um, because words can have a, um, a strong influence. And I was more focused on how the sound, the, um, the chords, the voicings uh, would move, uh, would move me, would move you. And so out of that, Journey's memory evolved. to seeing you beyond the crescent moon. <laughs>